Hello everyone, welcome back for more, what am I calling this, the Nintendo Black Fox Spectacular? Oh, Cat wants to say hi too. So, day two is Balloon Fight. As much as I like Balloon Fight, I am goddamn terrible at this. I am really, really bad at actually playing Balloon Fight. <clears throat> Part of that is having played it in 25 years. The other part is I was never good at joust either. Not I was better at joust than I was at this, and I wasn't that good at joust. So um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started. There we go, and I'll I kind of go over the basics here. You are the dude here. You can flap button once. Another button will do continuous. You hold left and right and flap. That was a mistake on my part. Get up there. You have two buttons, one flaps. That was almost really bad. That was even worse. Okay, let's, let's stay away from the edges. In general, it's best not to move too quickly unless you are in real deep trouble. The sparks will kill you, but you can if you are very quick. Get up there. Unfortunately, you do not get your balloons back between stages. That would make things probably a little too easy. E. Okay. Let's watch out for the sparks. The sparks are instant death no matter how many balloons you have. <clears throat> okay, so this, I was never good at figuring this part out. I almost never get all of them just because I, because I'm not that good at controlling balloon dude here. But the single player game kind of continues like this. There is definitely a way to get all the balloons. I'm just never learned the patterns. So it never happens. So hopefully that refills my balloons. It does, okay. And just to let you know, if you get too close to the water, you, you die instantly because a big fish will come up and swallow you. Yeah, boy. And he's gonna die. He can die too to the fish. I can also die to the fish because I bounce off of the freaking thing. Oh, this is bad. That was the worst area to head up in. That was almost a dead. That was almost a death. I'll get a death soon enough here. There's my second death. This is kind of a jerk stage to have to deal with. You can touch the cloud. You just can't touch the the lightning they send after you. Eh. And there I go. <clears throat> so like I said, I'm horrible at balloon fight. Always have been. I hate that stage in particular. 
But that's not much. Whoops. That's, um, I don't really want to play this one again. I did not, uh, do that correctly. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> the other thing we can do is balloon trip. If you are really good, aka not me, you can actually do quite a bit in Balloon Trip. Sadly for me, I am really, really bad at Balloon Trip, as I keep saying. This is kind of a break. You hit the balloon in this, or hit the bubble, and the other stages, it is just points. And here, it kind of pauses everything and gives you a second to just kind of realign. Let, let's try this again. I don't want to say, well, that was bad even for me. No, it's, that's about where I am. And the goal here is to rack up points like every other score. Heck yeah! I pinned myself in a really bad spot. Let's see if I can do one more here. Hey! Or I can be in an area I can I thought I could have sworn being that high was just safe enough but nope not let's see if I can actually make it to where we get to propellers and such probably not because again as you see I am I mean I keep saying it I'm not kidding when I say it I'm bad at this best to go in short bursts of forward and backward. And the, the game gives you two buttons for flap. One just kind of does a whole lot of flapping. Ah. One does like one stroke per button press. One more. Why not? It can be useful for both, but I find so much more use out of the, uh, out of the just continuous flap. But like I said, I'm goddamn terrible at this game. I've never been good at it. Even that hit me. I'm, I'm not even going to break the score tables. Let's do this one more time. And grab some seats. They're points. I do not have a good path. Maybe right here, okay. Eh. And that is probably gonna get me. I'm still going to die pretty quickly. Eh. 
Sometimes the rebounding helps. See, get away from there. Okay, that was that was a bad idea. Get him. Ah, that's right. They don't get got by the thing. It'd be nice. Nope, not gonna get them all. I'm gonna miss these two. Two. Not much better than I usually do. Miss two out of the 20. That's better. Get back here. Still not exactly a fan of these layouts. As it doesn't give you easy spots to get up. I'm doing better than the first time. I made it to stage two here. Bonus, yeah, bonus stage two. Close though. Missed two, missed one. That's definitely better than I normally do. But see, there's a propeller. Okay, I finally made it to the goddamn propellers. That was not so, that was lucky and then not lucky on my part, okay. Yep, there I go. This this layout is not friendly for me. Especially when you start factoring in the goddamn propeller and the lightning that's just waiting to pardon the pun light me up. I'm surprised he didn't just outright kill me. I'm surprised I didn't get bit by the goddamn lightning right there. And there goes that life. Yeah. And there goes that life. Lightning got me in the end. As it would want to do. Okay, that's balloon fight. I'm really bad at it, as you can see. But, it is a black box game, so I had to give it a chance. So anyway, tomorrow, 
if you can read the boxes along the side, is baseball, which I didn't really play much of growing up. Hmm. Anyway, I'm pretty sure we all know what baseball looks like. Well, I say that because baseball was kind of every goddamn where. I played it more in the arcades than I did in a uh, on the NES. And I wasn't great at the arcade. I could win games. But uh, I never played it much on the NES. We will, we'll see that tomorrow, though. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a good start to this month. I will see you all back tomorrow for baseball.